Should have enough gear now. I'm sure you can edit it. She's recording. <laughs> recording now. Okay. Recording. Now, screening catfish with Jerry. Okay, it's pretty simple. Uh, animal rights people do not look at this. So what I'm going to do first is what we call bleeding them out. Chop them. Now, I know this sounds cruel, people. Now, this is a, this is a male. This ain't a female. Okay. Notice there's a juvenile catfish which still has a spot. Okay. Now, what I'm doing right now is I'm what they call bleeding it out. Now, some people, what they'll do is when they're dead, they'll bleed them out. What I've learned is when they're still alive, you notice the blood dripping? You can go and have you a drink, have a cigarette while it's bleeding out. You notice it's just drip, 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 drip. Now, the reason why I do this, people, I know it's cruel, but, um, but, uh, but the reason I do it is because with the blood in there, it gives it that muddy flavor, that mossy flavor. So a lot of people either like or they don't like. So what I've learned in my 40-some years of cat fishing is I used to not, when they were still alive, bleed them out like this. I'd wait after I cleaned them, and then I would uh, squeeze the blood out. This way, the heart pumps it out. You know. So what we're doing now, what, the reason I got the water and it's kind of warm is because see that blood, it might coagulate, coagulate. So what I do is I keep that, if you notice the blood's flowing now more, okay? Just like with humans, if I cut your finger off, your blood would probably try to coagulate. I know it sounds cruel, but you know, Mr. Catfish, he should have took the hook. You know, I mean, we missed a few tonight, they got away, and see they live, so. Now what I'll do, is I'll hold him up like this, notice gravity is working with me, okay, I'll put him down here, a little bit, give him that, now, if you notice he's still bleeding, and that might be a she, now, what I'll do now, is I'll kind of squeeze that, because you have a lateral vein that, go, that runs all the way through the catfish hip. Now, if you don't get that blood out, that's what will give you that muddy flavor. You know, to see that vein? See it? See it, guys? In the middle? See how I squeeze this like this, and that, that blood comes out? Okay, that's their main lateral vein. Now, if you notice, Squeeze a little bit more, it comes out. Now, for teaching purposes, I usually bleed them out a little bit longer. What I'll do now is, shut my water off, don't want to waste water. I'll take my, uh, where did my fire go? Oh, there they are. So now what I'll do is I'll take my trusty Oh, now he's still alive, I know, don't worry. Now, see, he's bleeding more. Which is still a good sign. Now, this sounds cool, people. But he's bleeding out. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll just take this lateral fin. Now, you don't have to use a, a hatchet. <laughs> but, what you want to do is you want to get that... First pin, you can take a knife and just go right under the skin. I just like this one sometimes, I've gotten used to it. Notice he's still bleeding. Now, a blood's going to give you that mud flavor. Okay, yeah, let's get back up here. Now, if you get a good knife like Chuck has, I need to purchase one. You notice I'm still bleeding out, I'm still bleeding out. You notice that, people? Hold him up. Good. Okay. I'm just going to get that mud flavor out. Now, next up, I'm going to do, I'm going to come down, lateral line, but play right down through the center there. Okay. Okay. 
Now, then you can do two different things. You can take it, use gravity, and take this back dorsal fin off, which you start like this, work your way up, work your way all the way up. It's one sharp knife. Yeah, it is. I'm not used to it. Now, I'll take it, I'll just cut all the way through here like that. See? Just stay right by the skin. Okay? I know he's still alive. It's pretty sad, but you know it's life. Now, now what I'll do, take my knife, I'll just cut right here. There. Right there. Right there. Then, I'll do what they call either walking it or just strip it. Now, the bigger catfish, this one's going to be pretty easy because I can pretty well peel it. You know, once you get it going, it's called walking it. See? Walk it all the way down. Skins off. Now, the bigger catfish, you have to do what they call walking. This is called walking. Walking the skin. With the bigger ones, you usually have to walk the skin. Because they're a little bit tougher. And the skin comes right off. We've got our fillet right there. Then, now, there's two ways we can do it. We can just go ahead and chop it. Break the neck. Put the guts in there. Clean them out. It's a female. Sorry, guys. Thought it was a male. And then... What I'm doing now is I'm cleaning the mess left. Okay. So I'll just take my knife now. If you want to, you can scrape the silver stuff off. Some people do, some people don't. I guess I just do because I'm just used to it. And then I'll go ahead and make sure I got my warm water. Notice the blood still flowing. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll squeeze it. See that blood coming out of there, people? Now, the reason I use the hot, hotter water, now watch, you'll still get a lot more blood. Just when you think they were clean, they're not. Okay, now watch this. See? You get a little bit more blood. What happens is, that blood, well, a lot of times, for the small ones or in the big ones, it'll get into the flesh. So then you'll have that, kind of that muddy flavor, that, uh, you know that game flavor which some people actually like so what i'll do is to make sure even though i have bloody mountains is alive there's still going to be some blood in there so what i do is i go through warm water and i just squeeze it okay squeeze it out scrape it squeeze it out you notice you see how you still got more blood coming out see see that vein see that main vein Still, look at that, I'm still squeezing a lot. This one you thought he bled really well. Yeah. You're getting rest of that out of there. You'd be surprised. Now, that's probably the reason why people think that my catfish don't taste muddy. Or have that game flavor, they call it. And a lot of times I'll just scrape away the, the silver stuff. You don't want to have to now. In some lakes that you'll have like a yellow area here. Which means it could be someone a little bit blue or whatever, and you can just cut along here. Okay. These fish, where we get them from, it's pretty well, it's, it's a pretty clean lake and stuff. Now, I'll do the one more squeeze. And then some hot water. And voila! You have a nice plate. Now, this is perfect pan size, people. Perfect pan size. He's all ready to go. One more last squeeze, get a little bit out of there, and of course we will join Mr. Bass. Now, what I usually do, is if you notice with the bass earlier, that chuck clean, you notice all that blood's out of there, because we used our vinegar and salt and stuff, water's gotten kind of cold, okay? So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and drain this. We'll go ahead and take the salt mixture. 
Do a little bit of a rinse. We'll take our salt. Then we'll take our vinegar. We'll put vinegar in there. Then what we'll do is, you don't have to, but I always like to do it because I love garlic. Put me some garlic powder in there. I mean, you garlic salt or cloves. Then we'll go ahead and make sure we're covered with water. I'll put in some hot or warm water. And then we'll let them soak. I'll push it around a little bit. Now, if you notice, Mr. Catfish, as he soaks, look at that. He's getting more blood out of there. Now, with that vinegar and salt, you just got to pull some of that, some of that nastiness. You know, if he has any nastiness, if he's a nasty fish, then he's going to get pulled out. And that's basically how you clean it. I mean, there's a lot of ways to do it. But since uh, Chuck, I have to clean my three. Okay, Chuck still has to do his. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and go to exhibit B. Now let me show you an alternative way to clean catfish. Okay. There again, this is a, uh, it's probably a female. Now, female versus male, it's kind of hard with a juvenile, okay, this is, this is a juvenile catfish on the strain, okay, it's a juvenile catfish, notice the spots, okay, it's probably two years old, nice pan size, okay, notice it's probably female, you can see the eggs, this time of year in March, you see a lot of females, because they're ready to spawn, so, an alternative way that you can do, Go ahead and get him ready. No. Of course, again, if you can, chop the towel off. Now, notice the blood. That one earlier, I didn't bleed as much. Now, if you notice, if you squeeze here, if you squeeze right here, look at the blood, it comes out quicker. I'll just squeeze right here, it'll come out quicker. I'll hold it up. You notice that blood coming out. Now what I'll do is right along this lateral line I'll put that warmer water so that blood don't fly to Okay. Now, what'll happen? It'll it'll wiggle a little bit. Years ago I used to knock them out. Now I figure they're gonna die or you know, I eat, should have ate the hood. Should, should not have eaten the hood. But they did. Notice how much blood. Just in a pan sized fish. Yeah, notice all that blood coming out. Now, I know this might sound cool to people, but I've learned over the years that if you have one that's alive and still beating, that blood will be pumped out. What I used to do before I cut the tails off is I would knock them out with a hammer, then I would clean them. Then I'd have all of that blood, I'd have to squeeze out, I'd have to keep squeezing it, like forever. Now, what it does, it'll bleed. Now what you want to do is, you don't want that, see that vein? You don't want that to coagulate. See how it's starting to coagulate? See how I squeeze it? It's coming out. So what you want to do is you want to come up through here and just go like that. Squeeze along that main lateral line. And what that'll happen, now always take your catfish and always hold them like this. Now these fins, everybody says they have poison, that's such bullshit. Okay? They don't have poison. The reason when you get stung by one is first of all they have a barb here. See the barb? It's kind of like a hook. What happens is they have a lot of bacteria on this uh, pectoral fin. So when you get hit by one, it'll dig into your skin kind of with the curve. But what happens is the bacteria is, is what stings you, what that, that, that can infect you. So when people say, oh, catfish sting you, that's such a misnomer. It really is. These are the things that are going to hit you the most. Your pectoral fin very seldom. But if you notice, 
See how it's curved? What that is, is when other fish try to get them, these bombs will get stuck. They're not poisonous like people think. All it is is you got a lot of bacteria, and when it first hits you, when you pull it out, it'll it'll definitely uh, it'll definitely screw your hand up. You know, trust me, I've been uh, bitten supposedly. I say bitten, and it's usually the smaller ones that'll really get you. The larger ones, you always hold them this way. See, this is the best way to hold them. You know, you try to hold them like this, you, you could get you could get barred. You know. Now another way that I do it is I don't start with the pectoral fin, what I'll do is I'll start with the back fin. What I'll do is I'll come this way. There's a couple ways to skin them. Hold on my move. Well this way if you notice I'm going right from below. Right below the fin. Okay? And if you notice, if you just keep going, you'll be able to take those those bottom fins out too. Okay? And just work your knife up. Work it up. Okay. Then, what I'll do, I know your knife sharp, sharp, and a little bit sharp. Always have a sharp knife. Always have a good knife. That's a really good fillet knife. My hair. Not as good, but every knife needs to be sharp, and you always want to sharpen it this way. It's going to work a lot better. Now, some people will not cut the spin. Okay, what they'll do is they'll go from here and down. If you don't have a big knife like that, you can just take it. See? Just go right underneath it. Cut it off that way instead of chopping it. You don't have to chop that all the time. Okay. I wish I didn't get far enough under. So there's two ways you can do it. You can cut it off or just chop it off. I like to chop it off. Now, another thing what I do, I know this sounds gross, people. What I'll do is I'll check out the intestines. You know, I'll pick out the stomach. What the heck's going on? Are they eating cardiff? Are they eating liver? Are they eating uh, minnows? You know. That way you can learn what, what your catfish is eating, you know, you can learn what your catfish is eating, just by checking out the, the, the inner, you know. If they have balls of stink bait, then use stink bait. If they have liver in the intestines or the stomach, use liver. If they have crawdads or clams or other fish, then use that bait, just, you know what they're eating. Okay? So you can tell a lot of what you're fishing from. Now, some people also will take this back fin right here. See it? And they'll just cut it out. Now you don't have to. See? You can do that. I've done that before. Some people like don't like that fin. There again, you notice I take the fins, I use them as a grip. Take my knife, just go right down the center. Okay? Go right down the center. Then come around right what you want to do is you want to go right past this little door for things ain't gonna get much meat up in here okay so I'm gonna kind of cut around the belly and then like I said most of the little ones you can just do a whole strip see it comes right off Now, some people won't even bother to cut the neck. See, I cut the neck on the last one. You can just twist it, and it'll pop right off. This is what they call the float glider. Okay. Then what you want to do is you take the intestines out, liver. It's kind of still bleeding. You notice? Still bleeding. I'm going to take this out, see? Now, 
Obviously, I didn't clean them good enough. Now this is what I'm talking about, that yellow stuff. What you can do is you can just take it and peel that off, see? Is that fat along the spine? Yeah, that's also where a lot of this, if it's in a somewhat area you're not really sure about if it's polluted or whatever, or say a river, then you'll want to clean that top area, you know? Sometimes river catfish will have kind of a yellow band. You just cut that off. That's where all the toxins, if there is any, would accumulate. And there again, I take and I push it, see? Gotta push it. That main vein. Keeping it warm. Pushing that blood out. See how that blood's coming out? Be surprised how much blood's in there. Even though we've, even though we've uh, let it bleed out when it's alive, see? Now, like I said, the, the gray stuff you can have, some people like it, doesn't really matter. But if you notice, that blood's still coming out. There we go. And we're done. Catfish and material. I'm clean catfish. Pretty simple. Thank you, people. Have a great day.